Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the Stratoscale Hybrid DevOps Pros. Uh, I'm Ariel. Today I have an extra special guest, Iran. Welcome. Thank you. Happy We're going to, be to here. talk about upgrading uh, Symphony. Yes. So, so uh, what we have here is a cluster of Symphony with uh, let's see how many nodes. Uh, running lots of workloads, and what we're going to do is... Uh, Four yeah. node cluster, it's been up for about a month, I see. Yeah. Uh, Semi-loaded. Mm -hmm. We okay. can see all the instances that it's running, and now what we're going to do, going to try to upgrade it. All right. Uh, what I did prior to this uh, step, I enabled an upgrade for this uh, specific ah, fantastic. cluster. Fantastic. So we, we, when we go into the region management uh, uh, screen, mm -hmm. I, I assume that's available only for the platform uh, administrators and yes, not for every user? Okay, so as you can see here, you ha we have an available upgrade. So uh -huh. how does the system know that an upgrade is available? Uh, well, prior to this uh, minute, I enable the upgrade for this uh, cluster. The system is connected to our cloud service. And mm -hmm. once I enable it, it can see. I see. So when the Symphony cluster is uh, uh, checking in uh, with our uh, admin platform in the cloud, it knows an upgrade is available and it can uh, download it. And what happens uh, if I'm running in an air gapped environment? Well, in that case, as you can see here, we have this upload button and we will just send you the upgrade package and you can just. Okay. Uh, so in an air gapped environment, I can actually uh, upload. Uh, manually the an upgrade package and the system is going to behave the same. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do now is click this download. All right. Let's download the upgrade. And now the system is checking if the cluster is, if everything is okay in the cluster and it can perform the upgrade. Uh, once all checks are okay, uh, it's going to start downloading everything. Okay, so we're running health checks to make sure that upgrade is, is possible and uh, no downtime, uh, yeah. of course. That's great. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we started downloading the upgrade. So after finishing the system checks, uh, now you're downloading a playbook in order to be able to upgrade yes. the system. And right. we're downloading it first to one of the cluster nodes and then we distribute it to the all other I nodes. See. So we have four nodes in this cluster, we're downloading yes. it to a single node mm -hmm. and then we'll take it Yeah, uh, We can also see how it's progressing. Well, not yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there's an event stream that's going to get update us on the upgrade. All right, so let's wait a few minutes and see the download succeed. Yes. So cluster. I see here in each node we have 98 services. Yes. So uh, we are selectively upgrading each service. Yes, we have 98 services, and our Symphony cluster is compound from uh, a lot of microservices. In this specific upgrade, we're going to change or update. So we, when we have microservices, we need now to upgrade all of the di different services. So we have many, many small packages of upgrades, yes. and we're rolling them out to different nodes. Yes. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah. now we're seeing. Now we're seeing it. Uh, okay, so five of the services are ready to install and then the system is preparing additional services. Yeah, once all of them will be ready to install, we, can, we will have another uh, install button that we should click. So we have gates. When, when I admin the, uh, the platform, I have different gates that would allow me to execute this upgrade. Yeah, the upgrade and is... And manage the availability window. Exactly. You can download uh, the upgrade and it has no effect on the cluster. It's just getting the upgrade packages to the nodes. And the availability window is what you would want to have for the install part. Having a, a no downtime uh, upgrade to a live platform is extremely important uh, as we have applications that are running 24-7. Uh, we want to keep the platform current uh, for security uh, reasons, uh, to support uh, scalability and improve the robustness. And for that, we need to continuously upgrade it and update the different services uh, without impacting any of the applications that are running. Yeah. That's great. 
How long does this typically uh, last, uh, this uh, stage? Uh, the download part should take about 30 minutes, 30 uh, minutes, depending on the size of the upgrade. And the install part is a bit longer, and I guess we will see it soon. Fantastic. All right. So we're now at about 11%. Let's yeah. wait a few minutes and see uh, how it progresses. OK. So the upgrade is in ready to install status. No, we finish all the downloads, all the preparation, and yeah. it's ready to install. All right. OK. Let's go for it. Just click it. And now we get this. Uh, are we sure? <laughs> yes, we are. And we're installing it. OK, so while we're uh, installing, it's going to be a rolling process, uh, mm -hmm. a few s microservices at a time at each node until we're complete. Yes. Um, let's see. So we have now 98 services. Let's wait. Here it, mm. here it goes. Yeah. One by one. All right. How long does this uh, typically last? I guess about an hour, an hour and a half. OK. So for the next uh, hour uh, yeah. and a half, yeah. we're going to see the different services being rolled out in each node. Yes, but I just want to show you that during that time, there is no downtime of your workloads. Ah, Everything still works. There's no impact to the applications uh, running. That's amazing. All right, thanks, Iran. We've just right. learned how to upgrade uh, Symfony. Thank you. Thank you.